In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather in the presence of the Lord, as we begin this new day, let us thank the Lord first and foremost for the gift of this day. Very often in life, we realize that we experience many things. We get many gifts, but we do not appreciate them. Similarly, when we look back at our lives, right from the time of our birth until now, there may have been numerous blessings, numerous gifts that we have received. But sometimes because of our busy schedule, sometimes because of our carelessness, we often fail to thank the Lord for the blessings, for the graces that we have received. And therefore, as we spend this time with Him in the morning, as we offer this day to the Lord, let us begin with an attitude of gratitude. Let us thank Him for all the things that He has done for us, that He is doing for us, and which He will continue to do for us in the future. And therefore, my friends, let us first and foremost begin by thanking the Lord for the gift of life. Lord, we thank you for giving us this day a new day to experience your love, joy and mercy. We thank you for giving us another opportunity to correct some of our errors and our mistakes. Lord, we also thank you for the various opportunities that you have given us. Opportunities to work on our talents, opportunities to complete some other tasks. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of the people in our lives. We thank you for our parents, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. Most importantly, Lord, we thank you for those people who have dedicated their time and energy and have helped us become who we are. It is because of the dedication of the effort of these individuals that we have become who we are. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that you bless them abundantly. Lord, we also thank you for the numerous experiences that we have had. There have been some very good experiences which we will always cherish. But there have also been experiences that have been difficult, that have not been very easy. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for those experiences as well because they have taught us a lot in life. These difficult experiences have helped us become better individuals. It has helped us to become stronger. And therefore, Lord, today we offer up to you everything. Our difficulties, all our worries, and we place them at your feet. Lord, you said, come to me all those who labor and are tired, and I will give you rest. All of us long for peace, all of us long for rest. And therefore, Lord, we come to you knowing that you will give us rest, you will give us peace of mind, heart and body. And above all, that you will guide us in whatever we do. My dear friends, we shall now reflect and meditate on Psalm 67. Now Psalm 67 is a psalm of praise and a prayer for God's blessings to be extended to all nations. It is a relatively short psalm but it carries a powerful message of God's universal sovereignty and his desire for all people to know his salvation. Now the psalm can be divided into three main sections. The first being a plea for God's blessing 
which can be found in verses 1 to 2. Then you have a call for the nations to praise God. And this can be found in verses 3 to 5. And finally, there is a declaration of God's ongoing blessings which we find in verse 6. Now, verses 1 to 2 go like this. God, be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. And here we see that the psalm begins with a plea for God's mercy and blessings upon his people. Now the psalmist asks for God's favour to shine upon them with the ultimate goal that God's way and salvation would be made known to all nations. And this also indicates a broader perspective where the blessings given to Israel are not solely for their benefit but it is also for the purpose of drawing all other people to God. Now in verses 3 to 5, it goes something like this. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth. And therefore, in this section, we see that the psalmist calls for all nations and peoples to praise God. The psalmist expresses a desire for the nations to experience gladness and joy in recognizing God's righteous judgment and sovereign governance over the world. And therefore this theme in a way emphasizes God's role as the ultimate ruler and judge over all nations. And therefore here we see that God's mercy, God's love and grace is not only for a particular set of people, but it is available to everyone provided that they are open to him. And therefore, even in our life, we see that the more we place our faith and trust in the Lord, the more blessings we receive, the more graces we experience. And therefore, verse 6, the last part of the psalm, goes like this. Let the peoples praise you, God. Let all the peoples praise you. And therefore, the psalm concludes by reiterating the call for all the people to praise God. And therefore this repetition, we see that let the peoples praise you, O God. This is repeated twice. And therefore this emphasizes the central theme of the psalm, which is the universal praise and recognition of God's sovereignty and blessings. Now we began today's prayer saying that we need to thank the Lord. We need to praise Him for all the blessings, graces that He has given us all throughout our lives. And therefore this psalm affirms it. This psalm tells us that we should take time to appreciate the small things that have happened in our lives. Very often we ignore these small aspects. And therefore today the psalm invites us, stop, look at your life, look at the blessings that you have received and thank the Lord. Because everything ultimately comes from the Lord. And therefore, my dear friends, overall, Psalm 67 is a succinct but profound psalm that expresses the psalmist's desire for God's blessings to be extended to all nations and for all peoples to praise God. Now, it also emphasizes the universality of God's sovereignty and salvation highlighting the desire of God to draw people from all corners of the earth to himself. Now the psalm also serves as a reminder of the grand scope of God's plan and his invitation for all people to experience his blessings and salvation.
O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here are the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of November. For the Pope, we pray for the Holy Father as he fulfills his mission. May he continue to accompany the flock entrusted to him with the help of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. 
we ask this through Jesus Christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation Christ with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I sit down Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray Go forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers O Saint Joseph I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him 
to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us 
Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord God, that we, Your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.